Are the meat sweats real? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to eat piles of meat for the sake of science to yeah. find out if meat sweats are real by experiencing them firsthand. And today's episode is sponsored by Grubhub. How else you think we got all these delicious meats we're about to eat? Mm-hmm, Grubhub makes it easy to support all of your favorite local restaurants, bringing you the best at-home dining experiences when you can't eat out. And I'm always using Grubhub to order from one of my favorite local spots, Vicious Dogs. I get that mm -hmm. sweet and spicy kielbasa. Yeah, and you can find all kinds of deals and promotions from your favorite restaurants on the Grubhub Perks page, even free food. Mm-hmm, and by the way, the food that we ordered today got here super fast and they had the best prices, which is great considering just how much wheat Wheat, not wheat. No wheat at <laughs> no, all. I don't know. There might be a little bit of wheat. Just how much meat? Mostly we've meat. Yeah. Okay. Click the link in the description to support your favorite local restaurants on Grubhub. And new diners can use the promo code Mythical for ten dollars off your first order of fifteen dollars and up. And if you order now, you can eat with us. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay. Today we're on a mission to put the otherworldly experience known as the meat sweats under a microscope. Now. I hope your stomach is feeling large and in charge, cause it's time for, will all these meats make us real sweaty boys? Or was this theory made up by some rando named Troy? Now, have you ever had the meat sweats? I've eaten a lot of meat, I've sweated a lot, but I think maybe I was just like in hot places. I mean, we're from North Carolina, we've eaten meat in hot environments. I have never said that I've had the meat sweats, but with the people who do, it, it always makes me jealous because they're always saying it with like this is a point of pride, like they're bragging about it. I got the meat sweats, aren't you jealous? If meat sweats exist, I want that notch on my belt. Well, you know I'm in. So let's get this meat party started with our meat mallets. Yeah, that's what this is. Every time we pound uh, our meat gavels, we are gonna be presented with new meats to eat. Oh, look at that. Okay, Got a boys. First delivery. Your first meats are those sweet and spicy kielbasas that you both love so much oh, oh. from Vicious Dogs. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite hot dogified thing in the universe. Yeah, and now usually I would just eat this as is, but this isn't a bread sweats experiment. This yeah, is, this is a meat sweat. We don't want to induce generic food sweats. I love the way that he look. We know, we know Willie from Vicious Dogs. Ooh, it's warm. And he invented this thing where he cuts the top to let the, I'm gonna get a couple of the toppings though. Hey, you, you, can, you can do that. All right. Oh, hot. The experiment has commenced. Mm. Mm. And boop, 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 boop. Research, now, the phenomenon known as the meat sweats has not been scientifically proven yet, but the complicated idea behind the meat sweats is as follows. If you eat too much meat, your body starts to sweat. Did you follow that? It's so hot. Man, that packaging keeps it so hot. It's tasty. Okay, but there is scientific cause to believe in the meat sweats because the most widely accepted theory has to do with something called the thermic effect of food. That just means that every time you eat, your body has to expend some energy to break down that food you just swallowed. And by doing so, it releases heat, which ever so slightly increases your core body temperature. Mm hmm And the body has to work extra hard for protein because protein's harder to break down. And when you're breaking it down, uh, your body's expending more energy, which then your body tries to cool itself off, which means you start to sweat to cool yourself off. So. Before we eat too much meat, now I am done completely with that wiener. Let's uh, let's check each other's temperature, slow slow okay. eater. Let's set a baseline. 97.9. You're 98.4. Right. You're a little cool, I'm a little normal. Yep. Okay. Now, the crew has weighed what's presented to us and then whatever we push out, having not eaten, they're gonna weigh that to determine how much meat each of us right. is eating so that ultimately we'll be able to determine the percentage of our body weight we've each eaten in meat today because of science. Which will then help us determine our personal meat mass sweat threshold, very mm -hmm. scientific, right. which is the amount of meat needed to induce personal meat sweats for us. Very mm -hmm. useful number that everyone should have memorized, like your social security number. Okay, let's, um, let's get some more meats. I'm gonna push these out over there. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Next, you have wings and some carne asada, also from Vicious Dogs. We figured we'd switch it up a little bit. Okay. They'll put anything on a hot dog at Vicious Dogs. That's what I love about it. It's very creative, though. Now, we also have name tags. So, you know, if you start off with a little nice to meet you, this will show emotionally we're kind of tracking what's going on here. Hmm. Hmm, I what? really like meat. I already knew that, but I'm just reminded by. I already knew it too. I apologize ahead of time. I'm gonna be eating my carne asada with a spoon because but, I. Well, how else were you gonna do it? Well, I might do it uh, with a fork, but I'm really trying to make this count. I'm committed to getting the meat sweats. Carne asada and wings together, not bad. He'll put carne asada right on top of a hot dog that's already a hot dog. Yeah, yeah, and apparently he'll just put it on a tray if you ask him. How you doing over there, Link? I, I was hungry. Would you stop eating right now if it was a normal day? I feel like I'm an appetizer phase. I'd like to take a little break, but I'm not going to. Because I think the meat sweats is like, I think you want to just like really have waves and waves of meat. Now what's your theory here? Because I weigh like 50 more pounds than you do. I eat a lot more, but I outweigh you about 50 pounds. So how do you think the percentages are gonna line up? Given how percentages work, I think it'll be about the same. I think Brett's meat tolerance level is higher. I'm barely chewing this. I chew it so much more though. Like my- I'm swallowing like- My like sedimentary level. Whole of carne asada right now. Well, the- the we got more, a lot more to come. I think The I more you digest lot. by chewing, the less work you're gonna do, which would probably prolong the meat sweat. So I think the more you swallow it whole, the greater the chances of quicker meat sweats. Okay, I kind of feel like I should hold here. We want you know, there's a lot more meat to come. Okay, meat mallets. Okay, before you meat mallet, I'm gonna call for a sweat check here. Um, do you guys wanna explain? Sweat check. People? Yeah. Stevie is calling for a sweat when check. When she calls for a sweat, I, I keep these off for a second. When she does that, we gotta stop what we're doing, which is eating meat. We gotta inspect each other's faces with these sweat detectors. I think jewelers use these. But when we're trying to inspect each other for sweat. Oh my God, <laughs> your eyes are huge. Okay, let me get in there. You're a little greasy. But no droplets? No sweat forming. No, nope, let me see. I'm, I'm already greasy, I can tell. Your default mode is greasy. Right, I'm pretty greasy. <clears throat> oh, excuse God, me. Good, what, good, oh gosh, man, why, why are you gonna be straight up in I, my face? And be like, <laughs> I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. Uh, no Stevie, sweat, Stevie. At this point, we are sweatless, so. Let's okay. go ahead and let's go ahead and yeah, we got to document this. That's no typical. sweat yet, Stevie. You, you know, in labs all across the world, they just got stickers, and the and the scientists just end up putting the stickers on when they come to a conclusion. I'm gonna eat a few more of this. That's why we do this. I'm trying. On the way out, food in the mouth. There you go. All right, meat it, meat mallet it up. More meat. Okay, there I hope you guys are ready for some red meat because uh. this is ribeye steak from the Morrison in Atwater Village. Ooh, oh, this, okay. this is a very cool, this is a very cool restaurant when you want to feel like you're, you're kind of like in it to win it. Meat! Okay, a nice ribeye steak. I typically like, what's that, what's that fattier part on the outside, like, like the part that goes around it? Well, that's a good part of it. I mean, when I think about meat sweats, I think about red meat. Right? And because you just such a big slab of just straight up meat. Boop, 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 boop. This just in more research, red meats are really high in iron, and iron, according to science, actually improves long-term memory, short-term memory, and your attention span and your ability to complete cognitive tasks. Hey guys, I have some cognitive tasks for you to complete. Would you like to try completing said tasks now that you're consumed of a little bit of iron? Yes. Thank you, I'm glad that I have your consent. Um, well, I guess you'll have to keep eating as you're doing this, hence the, the oh, yeah. point of this entire episode. Um, okay, we're calling this the mm -hmm. Nonsense Story Memory Game, and I'm gonna read you a two-sentence story, and then you have to remember every detail as much as possible and write it down, and then we're gonna see how much of the story you remember. Oh, okay. All right, so we got whiteboards. This is a lot of meat. And you've already eaten almost all of it. Mike, hold up how much steak you've got left. Okay. And now almost none. 
I'm not going to go easy. I'm not going to be reading these stories slowly. I'm just going to say that. Read them like you're putting us to bed, which is the last thing I'd want to do after eating this much meat. Okay, you ready? Bill was so sweaty that when he stepped on his kid's slip inside, he slid all the way from Alabama to Colorado on his belly at the speed of 75 miles per hour. I mean, I feel like I'm really cognitating. Uh, I'm losing it. I need more meat. Okay, I got it. I totally... I totally lost it, but I think it was because I wasn't chewing meat. Bill was so sweaty when he stepped on his kid's slip and slide that he slid on his sweaty belly all the way from Alabama to Colorado at 75 miles per hour. No, Thanks. Bill was so slippery that he slipped on his slip and slide at 75 <laughs> miles an hour. Yeah. Bill was so sweaty that when he stepped on his kid's slip and slide, yeah, when he, he slid, on his, yeah, he slid all the way from Alabama to Colorado at the speed of 75 miles per hour. I said Alabama. I got yeah, almost you, all the pieces yeah, right. You and you it. ate that much more steak than me. Exactly. I am Proof feeling positive. I am feeling instant iron. So cognitive right now. I am cognating at a level. I mean, I'm always cognating at a pretty high level. I mean, you know that about Shh. me. You ready? I am. Now. Let's do a quick sweat and temp check. Uh, assume, well, break this food out for us real quick. This is uh, round two from the Morrison and Atwater Village. Barbecue ribs. Oh, oh ribs. my goodness. And the sheer weight of these ribs. How are you feeling right now? Uh, let's let's look at this. Um, you feeling clammy from hammy yet? I think I, I might after we get through this. I, I am feeling a little clammy. But I kind of feel like this is a good time. Stevie, you haven't said it, but I just, Yeah, I, and also, I, I would like a temperature check. I feel like oh. maybe your temperature has changed as well. Let me do a sweat check first here, because you seem to be, okay, you're greasier. I don't know if I see any actual pores opening up and pouring out any sweat. Nope. All right. Sweat. Wait, okay, why well, you gotta make it like that? I'm just tell me if breath. you see sweat. I don't. Oh gosh. All right, let's do a temperature check. Cause I feel hotter. I love this, Stevie's like, let's do a temperature check and then a second later it's like, Rhett's like, oh, let's do a temperature check. 98.2. 97.6. You guys have both gone down. <laughs> down in your temperature. Okay, well, hold we on. gotta up the meat, man. Maybe you go down before you go up. You know what you need to inspect? Sw meat sweats are not just on the forehead. Like my back is sweating. That's where I, I think I'm getting it in the back area. We gotta expand the analysis for the next round. Okay, I'll look very closely at your back in a second. Mm. I don't eat as much as I did as a younger man. It's nice that this has some sauce on it. It's a good rib. So the sugar's gonna open up my stomach. That's also a science. Yeah. You guys wanna try another cognitive task? Yeah, mm -hmm. Sure. We do. Okay, this one's very hard, I think. You're gonna say the alphabet backwards. Okay. You're not gonna do it at the same time. So we need to do it one at a time. Do I have any volunteers? I'll, I'll volunteer go. him. I'll go. Okay, on your mark, set, go. Z, Y, X, W, T, S, R, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, H, I, J, no, J, K, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Not bad. You missed some. You I, missed I missed some. like a Q and a V. Like the you whole missed, Q, the Q V. What section. matters is that yeah, you got through the, it. Yeah, you missed the V U for sure. You missed the Q link. Okay. Go. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Holy crap, you didn't miss any of them. I'm a genius! I I'm honestly, I don't think genius. I could do that. I'm definitely getting hotter, guys. I seriously just hit a new level. I'm, I'm gonna check you. If you're feeling it, I'm gonna check you. All right, is this a, is this a full sweat check and a temp check? Yeah, might as well. Okay. 98.1. Okay, so we've gone up from 97.9. Yes. Okay. What about me? What am I? Let me do it, because you're not close, you're not close enough. 97.9. Okay, okay, so Link's gone down. But my body is hot. Like, let me see your armpit. You're gonna have to get in there. You're gonna have to get in there with your special tool. 
Is that is that a cooling effect? I mean, it feels hot in there. Like it, like heat radiated out of it. Let's like here, look at my ninety eight point seven. Ninety eight point seven. I'm hot in here. Like my sweat is in my lower back. I'm definitely. I mean, I'm feeling sweat. <clears throat> Where's the sweat? I'm clamming for some hammy for sure. Put on your goggles, man. I need you to. I need you to certify my. Oh, wrong way. Whoop. Oh gosh. We we know what you mean. My, no, my sticker's busted. Oh, no. like, but you're gonna start drying off. You gotta. I mean, just touch it. No, I want to look at it. Oh, it's moist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Wait, you've ach you've achieved it. I have you've achieved, achieved sweat. lower back meat sweats. Let me let me touch your lower back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. I got him. I got him. Right there. Okay. Oh, that's oh, that's a lot of sweat. Mi yep. Uh, I need another. <laughs> hey, take, take okay. So take that temperature right there. On the is this of official? Because we need to measure. This is official. Yes. Okay. We, let's measure the meats. Ninety-seven point three. Will you push your meats off to our meat measurers and let's establish our Personal meat. meat amounts. I here. feel like I can keep eating. Yeah. Let's bring in more meats while we're doing the calculation. The meat sweats have only just begun. Okay. Uh. We're gonna get a little bit bigger here. Good These long. are giant turkey legs from Just Turkey LA and West Adams. Oh yeah, I love this place because they literally only serve turkey. Cause it's just turkey. It's just turkey. It's just turkey. You're like, what else? Yeah. Look at the sign, bro. Just turkey. And you're like, what is this huge leg? This could be off of any animal. Is this off of a dinosaur? No, it's just turkey. This is just turkey. Oh my goodness. Mm. I don't have much of an appetite anymore. It's a little tough at this point in the in the experiment. You've really slowed your roll too. Yeah, I feel like when I discovered that meat sweats were happening. I think I caught up with you because I ate just as much of the steak as you did. Okay, well, we're gonna find out exactly what our thresholds are. How many ribs did you eat? Uh, two and a half. Yeah, I like four or five. Oh, really? At this point, mm. I'm yeah. starting to feel like I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. <clears throat> I got some meat regrets on top of my meat sweats. Okay, guys, we have your meat totals in. Okay. So in pounds, how many pounds do you guys think that you ate? I'd say two and a half pounds. For me? For and Five for no, you? No, two, no. F five pounds of meat. Do you understand how many, that would be like 40 quarter pounders. Well, if you're saying like I ate two pounds. and a half pounds. I think I did two and a half and you did like two. Kind of close. So Rhett, you did 1.9 pounds, so okay. almost two, and Link, you did 1.35. So your percentage of body weight to start the sweats, Rhett, mm -hmm. yours was 0. 0.9, uh -huh. and Link, yours was 0. 0.83. Okay, so I was a little bit higher, but the, here, interesting, those are pretty close. I'm no scientist, but I would say that's getting pretty close to 1%. So that, I would say that, that the magic if number? you want to induce meat sweats in yourself, Eat 1% of your body weight in meat and you'll be there. You'll be beyond the threshold. And let me tell you, when you get there, I, I mean, I was still nibbling on this thing, but when you get to that point it, of, of meat sweats, it coincides with other things, just like general discomfort. Yeah. A questioning of your decision making. <laughs> yeah. But for now, we just want to thank Grubhub for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure you click the link in the description and support your favorite local restaurants on Grubhub and remember, New diners can use the promo code MYTHICAL for $10 off your first order of $15 and up. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Oh, you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Millie. And I've just done a blind cheese taste test for my 23rd birthday. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Blind Happy cheese birthday. Taste. Click the top link to watch us find out what celebrity couples look like as meat and also try some remedies to get rid of these meat sweats and good mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land, grab a variety pack of our magical color changing mythic cups now at mythical.com.